I'm Kevin Klein, City Councilor for Charleswood Tuxedo Westwood and Chair of the Winnipeg Police Board. A lot has certainly happened in the first week of January 2020 inside Winnipeg City Hall. I want to specifically talk about the water and waste meeting that we recently had. Now, there are a number of items that uh, shocked me and I'm not going to be able to talk to them all right now or you and I would be here for three, four days. So what we're going to talk about is specific items and then we'll do different videos as follow up. Today, let's talk about the big one. The department has requested a rate increase for the next four years to your water rates, sewer rates, uh, commercial rates are going up, so garbage disposal rates are going up for commercials, which means your rates here going up, but everything else is going up too. So the companies that do this, of course, will have to pass that on to other people, being you or I. Um, but they've done this before, or they did this raise after we had the mayor's uh, budget show. The shock and awe, where we were going to have to cut all of these expenses because the mayor said, I have agreed not to raise taxes any more than 2.3% and I'm sticking to it. Now, if I raise the water rates and all the commercial rates and I raise your frontage fee and I uh, increase the park uh, or the amount of fines we're collecting and such, that's not a tax. I only said I was going to keep the property tax low. I, I don't appreciate this style of politics. The fact of the matter is, if we continue to siphon, take dividends from water and waste, and we put that money into a general revenue account, and we're not using it for what it's supposed to be, then be open and transparent with me, because that's what we're supposed to be, open and transparent, and just tell me you don't know how to manage financials, and we need to raise property taxes because of the problem that we're in today. And don't tell me we never raised taxes for years because we've raised them for almost the last 10 years now. So I'm tired of hearing that game, but keep saying it, right? Let's just keep saying that because if we say it often enough, hopefully somebody will believe it. We like to blame things on everybody else. I put forward a motion because I felt taking 35, 38, 40 million dollars just taking it from water and waste and putting it into general revenues is unacceptable. And I know the critics will say, how are you going to replace that money? I'm going to be honest to people. And I'm going to tell them, this is the game they played with you, but I'd rather be open and transparent and say, we're going to stop doing this because we have an awful lot of sewer and waste, uh, water and waste problems, and we need that money to go there, or we're going to spend the next six months trying to fix it, or trying to get developers to pay it, or trying to get you know somebody who wants to rebuild their house. Well, you've got to pay for all this now. You've got to bring in new piping. Let's just be honest about it. Let's fix our problems. Let's prioritize them and check them off one at a time, and then will be in a really good place. So if the t property taxes have to go up, I'm okay with that. As long as you tell me exactly where that money is going to be spent. And as long as I know that you're not spending it on political advantageous items, because we're in a difficult position, we need to focus on the city. That's it. I put forward a motion that I thought was a compromise. Um, we take 11% of dividends from the water and waste and uh, Councillor Gillingham and, and the mayor uh, often brag about that. Well, we've already reduced it by 1%. Yeah, that's true. But you base it on the uh, target, right? <laughs> so if we sell less water, you're still taking more. So isn't that more? Anyways, I, I don't want to get into that part of it. This is, my f this is my point for putting the motion forward. The motion is quite simple. If you intend on raising the rates of residents for water, waste, sewage fees, you have to uh, reduce the amount that you take from dividends by 2%, period. Maybe you wouldn't have to raise the rates. And if you, uh, I'm sorry about that, and if you uh, want to raise rates, but that includes cutting services that taxpayers pay for, and it's part of our core services, you have to reduce what you take from the dividend by 2%. I thought that motion would force us to find a better way to budget. That that motion would allow us to take the time and really do a drill down into each of these departments and ask why. How'd the motion go? Do I even have to tell you? It did not go through. So with a uh, vote on the rates, was a stalemate, tied. Councillor Schreier uh, was, uh, and I were together by saying no. 
there's not enough here to say why. You keep saying the lake, but you're not putting any money to the lake, which we're going to talk about. Uh, you're just using these as excuses. So now we'll go to EPC. That means if the mayor wants you to have rates, wants to continue taking money from the dividend, um, you're going to have to pay them. Because once it gets to EPC, it wins in council.